Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel for another iRacing video. It's back to the TCR League today. Missed a couple of weeks because I didn't own the track, but we're back today and at Hockenheim, which is I think one of my favourite tracks. Um, I don't know if I've necessarily had good results here, but I enjoy the track, I enjoy the flow of the track. Um, we're only running the National layout today, National A, um, but even this, like, quite enjoy. It's got like a double hairpin halfway through rather than running all the way to the uh, the tight hairpin at the end. So yeah, looking forward to this one. Um, dropped a few positions in the championship from missing those rounds. So we're down in 10th right now. 83 points or 75 after drops. Um, so yeah, the drop scores isn't really gaining me any extra positions despite missing a couple of weeks. Uh, I am where I am after drops as well. So yeah, got a lot of uh, fighting to do. I was sort of aiming for a top five in this championship, if not a top three. So <laughs> we're a long way down on where we kind of want it to be. Um, first, for this first race, we qualified P3, a little bit off the pace, but kind of there or thereabouts, so fingers crossed that uh, that sort of translates into some race pace and we can cling on and get a result out of it. Let's jump on in, see how we get on. Alright, we're here at Hockenheim then, for the TCR Limit of a Diesel League. Just the last couple of races, didn't have the track, we're back here today. Qualified P3, and the professional driver is not here today. Great news for the rest of us. Fingers crossed we might actually get a result out today. Eh? Green in is standing behind us. I'm sure we'll be coming through the pack. Bain's been quick over one lap. See what he can uh, throw together. Race base. Trying to kill anyone is the uh, primary objective, I'd say. Oh god. That doesn't fill me with confidence. Here we go then. Green, green, green. I forgot that Shane was starting from the pits of course, isn't he? Shane got a penalty so he qualified on P2, but starts from the pits. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna just try and push me and Patrick out in front. Take it nice and tentatively to start. Just wanna get everything warmed up. Bump draft him, but don't want to do it too hard and make him loose. Also, these TCRs got a bit bad at bump drafting through one of the updates. So they're a bit scary nowadays. Oh god, back and nearly came around. I don't think that was as a result of the uh, bump draft. Just went in a little bit too hot. Now we need to run away. I mean, I was off, off his bumper a long way before the corner. Well, <laughs> this is going to get interesting then. at this track so powerful that I doubt I'll be able to keep him away for too long. Guess it just just depends what happens when uh, when they get to us. Just whoever reaches us first work together and try and pull pull a gap. Or do we start fighting immediately? Should not need to go down to first in that hairpin. 
looks like there's chaos the other side of the barrier there. Did some AI racing around this track and it did seem to be, uh, well, the fastest AI drivers are in Civics. I think the Audi is probably the worst car at this track, which is a surprise because a lot of um, a lot of long straights I think it's out the extra uh, suit the Audi's top speed and acceleration for that matter. But for those boys behind, can uh, <laughs> keep each other busy for a while. Green and closing the gap. Run out of talent. Break the draft. That's about as perfect as you can do T1. <laughs> Steve seems a lot closer. Two tenths that lap just by being behind in the draft. Patrick's still there, we're not as close, not close enough to be battling with Greening. Bad news for me. Just gotta try and keep it smooth. Really doing Nate's toe. <laughs> Cheers. To say greening is here is probably understatement of the year. Let's take this off track. full concentration mode but it's not enough <laughs> we're not keeping him at bay <laughs> I 
Again, we'll take the off track, we don't mind that. So frustrating how <laughs> you just can't run away. The toe is just so powerful. Patrick is now coming back to us. I think a byproduct of us being in the tow here like this, like blind stern the three of us, is that obviously the second car catches up the leader. The third car then catches up second place. And now Greening starts having a look. <laughs> and a bump. You can looky looky, but no touchy touchy. Oh, that was close to a slowdown. Well, we'll hug the line, send him around the outside. Can't be many more laps before he's uh, got up alongside here. I'll happily take a bit of slipstream for a little bit. Just past halfway through the race. Already pulled half a second on us and gaining. That's not ideal. The next car is the leader. Just sprints away from the corners, that Audi. Got no answer for it. Even the slipstream's not really pulling us close again. That's not going to help anything. Got no answer for them. We have got no answer for them. Audi's too good on the straights. Civic's too good on the corners. Elantra's average everywhere.
Is this about time we have one of those iconic risky spins out of the lead? No. Oh, he's back. Just, I'm just doing a four tenths quicker lap. You just, you've just missed my impression. Of? The, the great meme. Go on. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it again. I don't know. <laughs> when I, I don't know if, uh, huh? What? I don't know if our sponsors will want you to. <laughs> 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 when I will grow up, I will be strong army and I will destroy Wizards of Eastern Coast for risky racing. <laughs> strong army, wow, great. Great. <laughs> God damn. Oh, Dom, can you um, back Patrick up a little? Oh, I think I'm inadvertently doing that anyway, aren't I? No, you're still pulling away. Don't feel like I am. <laughs> Just make that high and I wide. Yeah, three tenths of lap, you're still pulling away. Sorry What's it that. say on the back of your high and I, by the way? You're a wizard, Harry. Ah. I was trying to see it, but then Steve made that absolute send. Too respectful, Anna. I'm too good to him. Ah, no, you gave I'd, I'd already given you, you, give you a left. Ah, a little lift up. I said yeah. to my stream, you can look but you can't touch, no touchy touchy. <laughs> As I came in with both hands. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even buy me dinner first, I can't believe it. Oh, that Civic's just so much better through the corners in this shed on wheels. We'll buy you a, uh, um, a, what's it called? A sausage, uh, sausage cob. Commiseration, <laughs> Christ. Yeah, I believe that's what they call it, north of uh, Nottingham and North. <laughs> Only really Leicester area, in my experience. Is it? I know Nottingham say it. Do they? Oh. Yeah. We were having this discussion at work the other day, and we determined that it was only Leicester. Go on, get a slowdown, Patrick. Get a slowdown. Uh, Damn it! <laughs> I, can, I can confirm, because uh, when we used to play Couch Strike, we had a guy from Nottingham. Um, and he used to think it was highly hilarious because the way I would repeat his order, which was sausage, cob, no pepper. Um, yeah. So, Leicester and... Nottingham, right. Nottingham and Leicester. It's Bath all the way, anyways. Or I, Butty. What, what's wrong with just a roll? No, because Butty is misleading. Why you mean something else, Randy? <laughs> what? Yeah. Like, are you right, buddy? <laughs> no, it's still relating to food, but it's just a different food item. Like, well, no, because a sausage roll is what you buy from Brex. Hmm. <laughs> Whereas a sausage bap, you know you're getting sausage in between some sort of item of bread. Brown tier, people call it roll, they call it bap, they call it a sarnie. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever sausage sarnie or a sausage butty. Yeah. Butty I mean, is exclusively chips around here. Chip yeah, butty, yeah. yeah. Uh, chip butty is the classic. Yeah, but you can have a bacon butty. Yeah, bacon butty, definitely. But they mean different types of bread. No, we don't. No, they do around here. Roll, mate. It's a We're roll, not mate. What, what? You have brioche, right. yeah, where you are. Well, what's ice bun, then? What? Is it bread or cake? Bread, ice bun, we've already established this is <laughs> pretend... <laughs> I'm gonna have to dip out of there. And we've got some. Uh, we've got some racing on. There's no white flag. Patrick wasn't there then. He's just been a nuisance. That's absolutely fine. I trust him enough to uh, to not make contact. I don't trust myself enough not to uh, close a door unnecessarily. But we'll do what we can. I can't believe the pace of that Audi. Well, I'm probably doing a disservice to its driver there as well, aren't I? It's 
not just the car that's fast, obviously. Alright, one more lap to hold on. If we can do it, this will be the first second place since Knock Hill. He was close that time, obviously, with the little uh, little weave to break the toe. It put him on the inside line to make a dive, but yeah, early and smooth on the brakes has been in practice the best way for me to make lap time in this, so I wasn't nervous about him sort of starting to come up there, put him on a bad line. I'm going to try for a crisscross, but we'll just stay narrow the whole way. Audi is so fast. <laughs> With a little bit of squabbling the last couple of laps, but even then, just no answer for green in space today. Would have been interesting to see what Shane could have done if he'd not had to start from the pits. like Greeny could have <laughs> done an brake turn and reversed over the line there. <laughs> Great battling with Patrick there, that was fun. There's the flag, it's over. Nice run, solid work. Good little scrap, really good little scrap. Just did not have the pace in that one. Um, yeah, I just didn't have an answer for the greening Audi combo. Really fun battle with Patrick though. Um, I was a couple of moments where I thought maybe I might have like chopped him or moved too much or something like that, but I think looking at the replay, it was all uh, all absolutely fine. So that's all good. Reverse grid draw for this one, I think, was P11, um, but one of the drivers is not starting this race, so that's going to start us on P9 for this one. So let's jump on in, see how we get on this time. All right, here we go for race two then. At Hockenheim, starting P9. Green, green, green. Oh, a bit of a bog that time. Just gonna need to try and be patient. Is that Olietta who's just gone to the grass? Car right. Oh, for goodness sake. Saw a car trying to dive up the inside, literally turned left into a right hander, and still get turned anyway. That's <laughs> super disappointing, oh my god. Maybe Ollie had the right idea, just run down the grass. No one's going to get you out there at least. We'll be able to get back on the back of the pack before the end, but it's not the ideal way for this one to start, is it? Peter in the first race, second to last after lap one in the second race. P9 
Yeah, well, Shane was fastest in uh, Shane was fastest in practice. I think he's been fastest all week, to be fair, around this track, and he's into P1. So, the front of the grid's just going to pull further and further away from us. Sadly, we just have to pick up anything we can as we go along. Looks like Nathan's dropping back towards us. Patrick will probably stay equidistant away. I don't even know who that was that managed to tag us there. Might even have been Steven who's uh, ducked into the pits there, I'm not quite sure. See what the lap times look like, see who might be uh, right for the picking through the race. Nathan ahead, Gareth, Shaden maybe by the end. And Gary, they're going to have to be our targets then. Everyone else is sitting 32s. That's <laughs> ah, alright, Stephen. <laughs> I didn't know if it was you that had tagged me or not. I thought it was a, a, a white car, but I didn't know if it had been Patrick. Just one of them things. Gives me something to chase for the race. Patrick's got past Gareth already, so he's going to continue to run away. One good thing is these races are nice 20 minute stints. Plenty of time to catch people. Even if you do have a bit of drama at the start like that. Sniffing up to the back of uh, of Nathan now. Cast off on the right. Cast off on the right. It's a risky. It's greening. Oh dear. <laughs> Double oh dear, because now he's going to be chasing me down if he's not damaged. Run away! <laughs> Have to be patient with Nathan. Don't do anything too silly. Oh, there's carnage ahead of us. Patrick and Jaden getting into it there. Defensive early. That should be enough now, fingers crossed. Good little scrap. Gonna have let Patrick pull away again a little bit though. Oh, it's good in the slipstream though. Go semi-defensive, just try and dissuade the dive. That should be good now. 
careening back to four seconds already. Fight him like a lion, Nathan. <laughs> Defend like a lion. Gary holding on to P2 for now. Great job from him. We've, <laughs> we've joked with him that he's got the widest Civic in the league. Absolutely great defence uh, behind the wheel from Gary. Alright, let the chase begin then. A couple of break, uh, clicks of brake bias. We're getting there. I don't know what we'll do once we do get there, but we're getting there. Is Oli Ettridge going to be in striking range by the end? How far ahead is he? No, he's going to be way out. As soon as we get stuck in the bottle with these two, that'll, uh, that'll probably be as far as we can get. Need to be a clinical move from us when we get to them, so that we're not held up too long. Oh, Jaden well squirrely there. Using up the off tracks. Might be a slowdown for Jaden. was nice
might have broke a steer in there. Came through that fast right hander and uh, I held my line in a straight line and he tried to turn into us. Well, that's put him in the pits. That might have been too many incidents even. I don't know. Don't know how many X's we got for that. All right, still got four seconds there, Steve. Within one second of uh, of Gareth. Looking forward to this fight. Gareth, the mastermind behind most of the draw gags that we've had on the YouTube channel since they've begun. We've been working him too hard recently though. It's not as there's much time to get drunk and think, <laughs> think of any new ones from me. Sent him on holiday for a week so we can come race and uh, find me some draw gags. He loves being flashed at as well, it's one of his favourite things. So I'll make sure that I do that quite a lot. <laughs> Joke's on me because it's pulled away through that section. <laughs> civic power. We can take turn one so much better than the Civic though. Didn't gain that much time to be fair. I've gone wide. <laughs> Gareth's gone wider. Hi Gareth. <laughs> this is where the civic's good. Tentative through there just then. I was maybe too tentative. Oh, there's a green in. A wild green in behind. to get this move done now. Fight Gareth, fight! <laughs> Yeah. 
five laps of fuel. Gareth did do fighting. I don't know if it was enough fighting for what we needed, but he did do fighting. One hundred percent going to break the draft. God, he gets such a good run. Need to use all of that off track. This is where he got us last time. I was so close at the end, just didn't quite have that final thing. Last corner. Last corner of all places. It was really fun battling back through the pack there. Um, yeah, it kind of made the race a little bit more exciting. Gave us something to chase down at least. But yeah, so that result has put us up a little bit in the standings. We're up to P7 now, or after drop scores are actually P6. So those drop scores are finally actually working to our advantage. Um, so P6 heading in towards the next rounds. Uh, next one is at Barcelona. So uh, yeah, we'll see how we got on there. But yeah, that's going to be everything for this video. So you know the drill. If you did enjoy it, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, drop us a comment if you like. And consider subscribing if you're new here and not done that already. Other than that, take it easy and look after yourself. I'll catch you in the next one.